to Mexico is a hotbed for film and TV production. There's no news there, folks. But if you are thinking you might want to try your hand as a movie or a TV star like Lauren Weedman, you may not know how to get started. So we sat down with one of New Mexico's top casting directors to get some info on how to cut your teeth in the biz. So, Elizabeth, how did you get your start in the film industry? And, and moreover, how did you find your way to becoming a casting director? I started, I wanted to become crew because I'm a writer and I wanted to find out how to write a good script and how to write for, for producing, how to produce a script. And I started working as a volunteer in film festivals, just unpaid, you know, grunge work. And a few film festivals later, I was hired as crew working as a production assistant, which is an entry level job. And you do just about the same thing. You go and get pizzas and you get coffee and um, eventually I worked my way into what is called the assistant director's department and became an assistant director. I found I wasn't very good at it <laughs> and I always found myself attracted to the extras and to the talent and I felt like well I can do a good job doing that and so I got an opportunity to work with one of the big local casting directors, Kathy Brink, and she hired me as her assistant and she mentored me and from that I was able to get my own jobs and, and now I've been doing it for 13 years. That's great. And what are, what are some of your favorite, you've worked on a lot of projects here in New Mexico, what are some of the favorite projects that you've been working on as a background casting director? I think the major projects that I've worked on have been uh, movies like True Grit, uh, No Country for Old Men, uh, Terminator Salvation, Lone Ranger, Cowboys and Aliens, a lot of westerns, um, Appaloosa. Um, I done. I did Transcendence. I did get to do Lone Survivor. I've done several military movies, which I'm very proud of. My favorite movie to work on is going to sound odd. It was a little comedy called Paul, and it was about an alien who escaped from Area 51 with Simon Pegg. And I found the director just utterly delightful. Simon Pegg was utterly delightful. They knew what they wanted. They gave me their head. My, they gave me the opportunity to be creative and to go in places where I don't normally get to go and, and do. And it, was, it turned out to be a lot of fun. That's great. And if someone's wanting to start out in the film industry here, they're you know wanting to get their, their cut their teeth in the business. Would you say that New Mexico is a good state to do that in? New Mexico is an excellent state to be in to start an acting career. It's it's there's so many wonderful opportunities here in New Mexico, not just in film but in theater. Surprisingly, Albuquerque and Santa Fe have a huge number of of theater groups that is a really good resource to, to get into and to touch bases with and to start an acting career. Uh, you, there are lots and lots of extra opportunities to get on the set as a non-speaking role. People can register at my website, egcasting.com, with Catherine Womago, who did Breaking Bad, an, uh, an awesome awesome director, and that's whiteturtlecasting.com, Bob Baxter, there are some really good projects to get into so you can start learning the ropes. And so if someone wants to start, they're, they're looking to start their, their career as an actor, what would be maybe the top three things that you would tell an actor they need to do to get started? Well, they do need to, to register with all the extras casting directors. Mm -hmm. And um, I really feel very strongly that they need to take acting classes. And, they've, and theater is, I think, very important. And there's a couple reasons that you need to interact with other, other actors. One, it hones your skills as an actor. But two, it also creates a synergy. You find out what's happening in the industry from other actors. You kind of, gossip is huge in our industry. It's like, what work is coming? Who's coming? Who's directing? Who's, you know, what projects are here? Who's got what projects? And when you start to hear, then you, you start to know where do I go to get these jobs. Always go to nmfilm.com, nmfilm.com. All casting calls are posted there. Go to every single casting call you can possibly fit into um, to get to know the casting directors um, and to get to know other actors so you create that synergy.